If a lesbian cock blocks another lesbian, is that considered a beaver dam? <laughs> That's good shit. <laughs> I'm fucking bad. <laughs> Your margin of error is smaller if you're aiming at the side already. Maybe you're starting water, and then once you've got, like, you know, uh, you know once you see what you're working with, you work your way to the sides. I could see that. I can just picture old Woody's old shaking hands trying to hold his dick pointed to the side. I'm just not what I used to be in here anymore. That he I don't want to wake the children. The I need to pee on the side of the toilet. <laughs> Huh, Woody's a Jewish person, apparently. Yeah. It's cowardly, right? Should I not just be like loud and proud? You know, when I. By, by the way, I don't want to point Thank this out, but Jackie is coming twice. Cutting him off? Oh, we just started, oh, buddy. <laughs> we can't cut me off. It's a three hour show. I'm cutting you off. Drink it slow. I can't. Drink it's mostly it slow. ice. We have to take drinks about? every time something Bring happens. Bring him the bottle. Tell him to use Woody's milk. He's not trying to strengthen his saying. bones for four <laughs> hours. He's just trying to get. Hey, use milk. Oh. All right, all right. Hang on. I have I have a few questions here. First of all, as we've already pointed out, that half and half in that refrigerator is a family half and half, and b totally business half and half as well. Okay, Woody's a big part of his family, and he needs that half and half for his for his drinks tonight. And I don't understand. Pardon me. But why you can't put some milk in your coffee in the morning? Because that's how I drink mine every morning. Oh, oh, oh that's how you drink your coffee. I, I know. Why did it become why can't... family half and half? <laughs> because it's from the, the family. Is your name really? written on the card? Colin, he, every morning he wants a cup of Joe? Is if he asks for a bit of half and half, if I'm sure he'd give to him. If he says him, please, I don't your see a reason half and half. half. Cripple, cripple, cripple. <laughs> Shit on the guy's face. Cripple, cripple, rape stab. And I'm sitting there like, man, I hope I picked the right lawyer. <laughs> oh. they, they executed that retarded guy? It's like, come yeah. on. That's, <laughs> that's in Texas. It's too much. This is in Texas. <laughs> I, I like your joke, Taylor. <laughs> yeah. Well, that, that's like the meme, the, the Texas thing, right? Because they've done that at least once in the past, right? Ah, who <laughs> hasn't? <laughs> I think they have too, yeah. I don't know why the retarded get a pass, all right? You you, you do the crime, you, you do the time. I'll just put them in a pen with some Play-Doh and... You know, <laughs> <laughs> It'll be fine. It'll be fine. They just want to play. A little moon a Pokemon, sand. a Game Boy. They're like, oh, he's got the mind of a seven-year-old. Yeah, a seven-year-old who stabs people. He's got to go. <laughs> that is That's <That's> dangerous. <laughs> a seven-year-old who doesn't understand. A, a prize boxer with the mind of a seven-year-old. <laughs> yeah, knows how to kill here. people. You know what? You're proving me wrong, Kyle. It's pretty... It's a, they were saving lives by killing that retarded guy. <laughs> What's fucked is where they like. I, I've seen. I saw an instance where um, this guy was retarded, and he was innocent, and they put him in the electric chair, and they said that he was so retarded that he had no idea what death row was or why he was there, and he was smiling on the way to the electric chair because he thought. It, he's, oh, he, that's so, oh, look at all these nice people. They gave me a cool whatever I wanted to eat today. And oh, look, there's a, a, a priest there that to talk to me. Hey, nice to meet you. I don't get to meet too many new people here, you know. And wow. they, they're putting the sponge on his head and everything. He's like, oh, that feels kind of nice. Oh, look at this. Putting the hood over. Awesome. Surprise. Oh, <laughs> oh, a surprise party. Oh, I've had one of these before. And then they fucking execute the mother. And he was innocent. Damn. Wait, he was yeah. innocent? Yeah. Yeah. Is this real life we're talking about? Real life. That's horrible. Think of a worse way to die? Oh, well, that's easy. The boats. <laughs> the what? Boats. Tell us the boats. <laughs> All right. So you take a canoe, you lay the guy in the canoe, his uh, you cut holes in the canoe so that his arm so that his arms and legs stick out and his head sticks out. And uh, so then you put another canoe on top of that to like seal him in to canoe so now he's like sealed inside of this uh wooden structure with uh you know his, his arms his legs and his uh his head sticking out you feed him nothing but milk and honey and you cover his face uh legs and arms and, and and honey and because you're feeding him nothing but milk and honey he's getting diarrhea and like shitting himself constantly inside the boat and you roll the boat out into a swamp 
full of like insects, mosquitoes, and all kinds of bugs and awful critters. And so they're always like gnawing and stinging at his face day after day because it's covered with honey and mm. milk. And he keeps shitting himself day after day until the bugs start getting in the shit and then inside of him. And so he starts like decomposing as the, the bugs infesting his. Uh, you know, he goes all septic and like bugs are you know going and open septic wounds and up his asshole and in his genitals maybe who knows and like his 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 head his his hands and his feet are just destroyed by stinging insects and it could take days and days to kill someone it's imagine called- also being the guy who has to go back every day to keep feed feeding him. him milk and honey <laughs> <laughs> get honey sack open up wide He's like, that guy's down. serving a cr- for a lesser crime that's his sentence yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So teach you to steal bread. Jaywalking. Oh god, <laughs> drink it. Just drink it. Yeah, that's rough. What? A, what's another awful way to go? Kyle, oh, that was a very creative Egyptian torture tactic or whatever you were outlining. Uh, they could break you on the wheel. You know, they could. Um, Not the wheel. The, the wheel, wheel of pain. <laughs> uh, you know, they they could take. They, they had this big, large wooden wheel, and they sort of lay you across it, lash to it. Uh, you know, rope around your wrist, rope around your feet, and stretch you uh, either face. Uh, face against the wheel or facing away from the wheel and then they r- just roll it down a hill. And so it's rolling with all the weight of your body weight and the weight of the enormous wheel you're attached to and it's smashing you. As oh, you're on the outside the edge of the wheel. I thought you were attached mm. to the side of it in this scenario. No, you're on the tread. Yeah, you're on yeah, the tread. You know what the I always thought would be like lousy? Like, like it, being strapped... I don't think this would be lethal, but if you were strapped to like a beach or something and they cut your eyelids off, that would make for an awful day. You'd just be yeah, looking be, at the sun until your eyes dried out and turned into like some sort of you know, raisin. You could be well, I think birds would eat water. it first. Ah, cough. <laughs> Mike, oh, join stop. in. Give us your favorite torture. And I think that flight in Pennsylvania was shot down. And I don't, like it, everyone knows I'm not a huge Bush fan. I'm not sure it was the wrong call. You know, by sacrificing those hundred, they may have saved 2,000. You know, I, but I do think it was shot down and we were lied to. Hmm. I've Maybe got so. a theory that nobody mm. actually likes cauliflower. I think it's just a scam. People pretend <laughs> it's like and more healthy. Like you can like broccoli, you can like carrots, you can like asparagus, but cauliflower, nobody ever asks for it. It's never offered <laughs> at restaurants because people will be disappointed, but people will pretend to like it so that they seem healthier. No one actually likes it. It's a big scheme by the cauliflower conglomerates and lobbyists. <laughs> Dude, oh, if, I, if I came home one day, any day, and my girlfriend had hidden a huge amount of food. Like, I was already drenched in blood. On the way back, we saw a baby deer that had been hit by a car, and it was, it was suffering. And, uh, and they were like, you know, somebody put it out of its misery, you know? But we're in a neighborhood, and it's like, well, we can't shoot right here. Like, this is the street. And, and I'm just like, well, we got silencers. They're like, no, nah, we really can't shoot here. Like, that's a house, that's a house. And they're like, well... Somebody kill it with a knife. And I'm just like, <laughs> so I get out, <laughs> get the baby deer. Like, like it's, it's head is like right here. And he's just like, Oh, sorry, little guy. I'm so sorry. It's just I'm sorry about all this. And then he just starts kicking and he's like, his little leg is like kicking like this over and over, just hitting me in the ribs. And I'm just, again, just, just, <laughs> <laughs> just cut his throat. So like the second animal throat cutting of the night, uh, so, yeah, by the time I got to the, the hotel, I really was drenched like Michael Myers or something like that. That was an interesting night. I killed a, I might have told this story before, but I mercy killed a rabbit once. And it wasn't even a, a or awful jackrabbit like you see in the wild, those big disgusting ones. Like it was a sweet little bunny that you see in a neighborhood. I was driving my carpool oh, home from school in high school. And I drove and I saw it and I tried to swerve and it just jumped the same way that I swerved and I crushed the entire back part of it and I like I saw in the rear view mirror and the girl that I was driving home oh oh, did you you hit it and we look in the rear view mirror and it's using its two little front paws trying to claw its way (laughs) off the road the entire backside is just destroyed like smashed and I'm like okay we can't leave this thing here to slowly bleed out start getting eaten alive by some carrion or some bird, I think carry ends what you say to, about the animal. But uh, So I didn't have anything to kill it with, didn't have any knives or guns, as you shouldn't when you're driving home from school. And so I had my younger brother get out and guide me as I backed up <laughs> over the head of the rabbit. And he was, he was like pointing like this and that. And the girl was like, is it over? Did we get it? And I'm like, I don't know. He hasn't waved me through. And then you just heard like a, a dull 
like, oh, yeah. like just a crack and it was over. It was out of its misery. So I was pulling out of my parents' driveway. I was about 22 years old, 23 years old, something like that. Pull out, make a right, and Todd, the, uh, the, the, like, the beagle, who was our pet beagle, ran under my front tire. My front tire goes up and over Todd. Ba blump, ba blump. Get him with the back tire too. I stop immediately there, on, you know, just just maybe 15 yards from the driveway entrance there on the road. I pull over. I get out. Todd's fucked. Todd's guts are hanging out. So I take my pistol. Pop, pop, pop. Shoot him three times in the head. Then are I look you on up. your way home from school in this situation too? No, no, no. I was. Uh, I, I, I was wondering yeah. why you only had a pistol. But carry on. <laughs> Pop, pop, pop. Shoot him three times in the head, and I look up, and there's, like, a lady in a sedan, like, <laughs> like, like she just watched me execute a dog, and, she, and, and, like, I didn't know what, I couldn't leave Todd there, so I, like, grabbed him by the collar, threw him in the back of my truck, and, like, sped away, and I can only imagine what she thought. <laughs> like, like, I wasn't doing anything bad, but it looked like I was a psychopath. Like, it looked like I gunned a dog down, point blank, and, and stole the body, and then got the fuck up out of there, but... Uh, never heard anything of that, but uh, that's telling all these stories. Thing? Is this a standard thing where you like just walk around with weapons and pistols and? Shit? Uh, if I think that I'm going in a we're going in a dangerous area, yeah, I have what a gun within uh, five <laughs> ten yards of me right now. A couple of guns. Yeah, I've got a gun in the, one of the closets right back the there. Room. I would have one. Most, if you got see me, I'm probably stand. strapped. This is our drinking episode, so. Uh, yeah, I've I've got my clue and cream for me. What do we have here? Beers for Merca. Beers for everyone except me, right? I I have this uh, strawberry ale. Uh, I had apple ale, but I dropped it on the concrete floor, so now I have strawberry ale, and I think we're all the better for it. <laughs> all Especially right. guest beer. We're gonna bring. Hope into oh the my mix. goodness. All right, Hope, so I've got to ask, out of, out of all of the, uh, the ones you just named there, have you seen any of those, and do you have any favorites? What's your favorite anime? That okay, we could I, I can't cartoon? say I've seen the ones listed, but Okay, I recommend do... for me. <laughs> okay. Um, You've seen that I should watch. I've only seen two, like, fully, and that would be Free, which is the swimming one, which I totally loved and really recommend, and Clan Ad for when you need a good cry. You I never need oh. cry. You need that. You know that feeling, Kyle, when you just want to openly weep in front of your TV. <laughs> I, know exactly, I know exactly. I know exactly what you're talking about. Light a candles. Hey, get it is a an pint amazing of some ben and Jerry's. show, but it is very, very sad and made me weep like a baby. It's very sad. <laughs> oh, Kyle, you're gonna make me start. <laughs> <laughs> uh. That was good. Good job. That was a great read. So look, if um, if you guys catch this, let us know who did the better read. Who wore it better, Hope or Kyle? I give Kyle a 7.6, Hope an 8.1, just because I want you to keep looking up. One of them's <laughs> getting fired. <laughs> uh, you, you'll get a free month. It's already cheap. And um, uh, there is no one who does it better than Crunchyroll. That's it. There's yeah. That's They're top of the line. It. Gonna... No, it's not time to freeze the apple yet, Kyle. We still I don't know if it's going to freeze you, or blow you, it up. You're going to blow your should... load this soon. What are we, like five minutes into the show? You're like, oh, I've got more. Fucking apple. I've got more than that. Come on. How many cans of CO2 do you have? I've got two. Fair enough, then. You're going to blow half your load five minutes in? <laughs> you never got tunnel vision as a kid? Just the no, first I'm time not you fucking... find a... I have self-awareness. <laughs> I'm a masturbating. What's, a good, what's an animal that hears hey, really I have out? another bad joke. And so, oh, Chiz started a cigarette, by the way. Oh, and right, two right. drinks because a uh, new rule. Anytime I catch Chiz wearing an awful hat, we all have to drink. <laughs> What's the most sensitive part of a man while he's masturbating? His hearing. I was gonna say oh, ears. Oh uh, yeah, see. Well, I was gonna say joke. ears. <laughs> yeah, I never had. I, a, it just like, seemed like, weird. Like if I was if I was masturbating and I heard someone coming and I thought you know I was I was ready to put everything away and you know just be under the covers playing a video game or something you know I don't know I, I just never I don't understand how people get caught. Well, how are you loud enough to get caught anyway? Like you're masturbating, they and having see sex. you. They walk in and see you. I think that's, I think that's how most people. Yeah, they barge in on the thing. That's oh, the well, idea. That's what the lock is for. 
some kids don't have locks. That's what we're talking. That's what we're talking about. I think everyone's supposed to have locks on a bedroom. You should have a lock. Bedrooms and bathrooms have locks. That's just I, a I thing. I think my guest bedroom does not have a lock. I'm gonna fix that tomorrow. That's really? absurd. Yeah. yeah, it's absurd. For whatever yeah. reason, they put his door in. When I was jerking it. off in there, <laughs> I was really scared. Okay. And the thing about that, Wings was in there jerking into that sock, but no <laughs> lock on the door. He didn't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah, but he also <laughs> peed with the door open, so he, you know, he gave <laughs> with the door open. And, and that he blew was, my mind when I saw the layout of your house. I was like. Kitty's room is right there. It is right, and the he living room the is there, and the kitchen is there. Door here. Here's the bathroom door. I'm. You're, you're looking at it, and then here's Kitty's door. You walk in that way, and they're like side by side with a little cupboard between. And, and the kitchen is the, the living room and kitchen. The kitchen looks right at that door as well. He's in there pissing with the door open. Just, it was absurd, and he was shocked when we brought it up. He was like, <laughs> <"What's> that? <laughs> "We'll be all up tight." <laughs> He's not like, going to put on airs just to live with you, Kyle. Yeah. Putting on airs. <laughs> put on airs of closing <laughs> the bathroom Fan door. Which you you fancy door, door closing yeah. people. Okay. Ooh, pink is up. As, uh, I tried turkey bacon recently, and someone had told me, like, oh, it's, you know, leaner, and it's just as good as the real thing. Horseshit. Like, afterward, <laughs> I looked it up, and or I actually I just looked at the back of the package, and it's just compressed turkey to look like the shape of bacon which i don't know what else i would have thought it was there's no like you know turkey stomach that you're cutting slivers of bacon off of but it was terrible every bite was depressing it doesn't cook right it gets burned before it gets done every bite just was awful. depressing every bite was like what have i done why did i do this this is like you know up until 10 or 8 or something you know i slowly lost the ability to focus enough to fly and i think like what Peter actually Pan. happened was Maybe yeah. I was copying the story, but in my in my head, I had this idea that as I learned that you can't fly, that slowly became even my dreams reality. Interesting. Yeah. It, so when uh, when I'm having a fully lucid dream, and I mean it's it's to the point where I have the full pro where I sit, I'm standing there, and I say, "Okay, I am in a dream. I am asleep, but I'm, I'm while I'm really asleep in bed." I am in a dream right now, and I can make this like the Matrix if I want to. If I really concentrate, what do I want to do? Um, and then, but sometimes it's in between. It's like I think I'm in a dream, but I'm not sure, and I need to be sure before I get to raping. You know, because there, <laughs> there's going to be consequences. And so, like, <laughs> Steve's not loving this. So, so, so I'll oh. pinch myself. So I'll pinch myself. But the problem is, I at this point, I can feel pain in my dreams now, and so, so like, like she. I'm. <laughs> oh, that's well, she couldn't at first, but if I concentrate real hard, <laughs> she can. <laughs> I'm not. What? What? I refuse for this to be the end. You will not see me laughing at this story at all. <laughs> so uh, you know, I'll pinch myself. <clears throat> and I'll try to determine if it's a dream. But the problem is, like, now I'll feel pain. And, I, and, and I'll be like, well, that, that did hurt, but did it hurt like it normally hurts? I don't know. I don't pinch myself a lot in real life, you know? I, I don't remember what... Eh. And then I'll, I'll be like, well, I need some more serious pain here. So I'll, like, I'll, like stab myself or bite myself, like, like, really try to hurt myself. And then I'll be like... Shouldn't that be enough of an indication that it's a dream that you're willing to stab yourself? I need to be sure before I get to rape and Taylor. Really? I've been to prison before. You really dot all your I's and cross all your T's in a situation like this. Look, you know what? I was a fool to ask initially. You're right. Thank you. Thank you. Go, go Cloacal we'll kiss somebody. Kyle. <laughs> you need to be sure. Uh, <coughs> that was good. Oh, that looks so painful. <laughs> it's, uh, it's not. Really. Uh. Only 0.7% of the world's population is actually subscribed to my channel, which is terrifying. This means that more than 99% of people are completely fucking brain dead.